Hi guys, today I'll check what will happen if we don't take this map and a few more cool experiments in the last of us part 2. First, I checked what would happen if Ellie got under a box that would fall. Thanks for the idea, the subscriber, best gamer, he recommended this experiment. Ellie just jumped, I didn't do anything with a joystick. Come on. It was interesting to see if we could kill this infected before he climbed the fence. If done quickly, it's possible. Guys, if you like my experiments, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. At this point, when we jump over this fence, the horde explodes on the mine. I decided to see if we could detonate this mine. It's turned out to be impossible. The effects of the Molotov cocktail also disappear after the jump. An interesting point is that we have two animations at this moment. If Ellie doesn't move, then this animation. If Ellie moves to the gun, then it. I also decide to show you what will happen if we don't save Dina. Did you know that there is such a glitch? Here then we can go beyond the map. Here's how you can do it. Let's go to back to our map, which we can find for the first time here. If you don't take it, Ellie will say such a phrase. Anything good in there? Pretty picked over. When we start entering a password without a map and notebook with the codes, Elle especially makes a mistake and say such a phrase. <sighs> Needs a code. We can find the map of the Seattle again in this van. Both in one box and in other. If you don't take the map, we can open other box. Only after we take the map, we can open other box and find a notebook with the codes for gates. Okay. 
Okay. Wonder when this was written. This is only way we can open the gate. Yes. Well done. Shit. Here I decided to test whether clicker can crawl or jump. You can see the result below.